What's up, y'all? This is Jason. In this video, I wanted to go over a sample interview question you might get on your iOS dev interview. So this is like a question that I got on one of my interviews, actually, and it's, it pertains to networking. And your interviewer may give you like a JSON response from some API or URL, right? And <laughs> hopefully they don't give it to you like this, right? And I doubt they will. But they might give you a response like this and tell you to parse it. But <laughs> trying to parse it like this is, is crazy. And it's not good for your health. So, <laughs> so let's go to Postman. And you, if you guys don't have Postman, you should definitely download it. It's a very useful tool. And I use it while like on the job. And when you're working with APIs and networks, like using Postman is super, super helpful. All right. So now we got Postman here. Let's copy the, the URL back. Okay, this looks a lot nicer, right? <laughs> So we can close this and let's open this. So this is the JSON response from this call, this network call. And your interviewer might ask you to parse it. And it'll really depend on the interviewer what the specifics will be. Like if they want, like the, the, you see here, this is an array of results. So maybe they want every, everything that's in this result array. Or maybe they just want the first index. It really just depends on them. So this will be the part of the interview where you ask some questions, you look at the response and you figure out if they want you to use like an actual project, like a UI kit or a Swift UI project, or you can just do this in Playgrounds. And for this video, we're just gonna be working in Playgrounds. So we're gonna go to Xcode, File, New, hit Playground, Playground. Let's call this iOS Interview Network. Let that load. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I had a weird issue. If you try to run your playgrounds with Rosetta, if you, have, if you have Xcode set to open using Rosetta, you get a bunch of errors. I had to restart. I had to turn it off and then restart just in case anybody else runs into issues like that. All right, so we're here now. This is working. Let's go back to our JSON response or our network response, and let's try to analyze this. So at this point of the interview, now we have to parse it and you figure out what you want, like for our, um, you figure out what the interview wants you to do with it. So for our, in our case, we're going to say we want us to print out everyone's name in this results array. Okay. So we're going to print out everyone's name. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. So let's create some model slash struct structs that we're going to use to decode this response. So the main response looks like it has a result. So we're going to say struct, we'll call this, we'll call this response. And all we need to make sure it conforms to decodable. And for our response, we're only interested in the in the results. So let results. Now we have to specify the type of the results. We see here off the bat, right off the bat, that results is an array. So that's something to note. So we open the array, and we see that there is a whole bunch of objects in here. So that lets us know that results is an array of objects. And what are these objects? These are objects that we can create. So let's create another struct called person conform to decodable. And oh, let's make this capital. And then we'll say results is an array of type person. And now let's go to person. We see here person, we're only interested in the name. That's what the, the interviewer told us. So in our person object, we're gonna wanna grab whatever information we need. In our case, we only need the name. So we write down name here. And if you needed other things, you wanna make sure that you have it written exactly the same way it's written here. And if let's say we need a hair color, you don't have to write it like this. You can write it, you can write it camel case still. And then when you're decoding it, you convert from snake case to camel case. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So now let's focus on name. You wanna make sure that you declare the type. So for us, the type is, the type of name is a string. And for all of these, it looks like we have string, string, string. Let's say if we were to grab the count, this type would be an int. But in our case, we only need the name, so that's a string. That error goes away. Now we're good. I think we might have to declare the person so that the playground knows because this is going to run in chronological order. All right, now we have our models and our structure. Now let's make the network request. And in here, in this part, you may want to communicate with your, with your interviewer if it matters if you use async await or if you use the older methods to make a network request. So to make our network request, let's create a function. Let's make this a, we'll make this up. Let's just make this a func. And this funk will be called, let's call this fetch. For our example, we're gonna be using async await. So we're gonna say async throws. And then we, 
I like to call the URL session data for or from, and that I like to do this first. That way I can figure out what do I need. Cause sometimes you need the URL request. Sometimes you just need a URL. So we need a URL. So I'm gonna do a guard let URL equals URL string. String will be the URL that the interviewer provides us. So we pass that in there and then else return. This is just so our URL will be optional and we could pass it in here. And in this response, we get, we get a data response. And this is a try await. Oh Let me get some space up in here. So when we call this function here, we get a data and we get a response. The data is already, the data is a non-optional, so you don't even have to guard let it. Since if it fails, this try will throw. The only thing that isn't, or that may be worth guarding against is making sure this response is a status code of 200. And that's something that you could ask your interviewer, like do, you, do, do they want you to do that or do they not? Depending on time, right? Because you just asking that kind of will let them know, oh, he's aware of that or she's aware of that. So that, that'll be like a point for you. And they might be like, oh, you don't have to do that because it is gonna take a little bit of time. Not that much time, but it'll take some time, especially because during interviews, like time will fly. <laughs> Response, and then we wanna guard it. So status code, ah as a CPUR response. And then you want to call status code equals equals 200. And then when you guard this, we don't return, we throw, since this, AC, this function is called async throws or marked async throws. And that means we have to create an error that we can throw. And that's why this would add more time, right, to, your, to the interview. So they might be like, oh, you don't have to worry about it. All right, and now, now we can play with around with our data. First, we want to create a decoder. Let decoder equal JSON decoder. Now we want our decoder to decode the data. And earlier, I don't know if you guys remember when I mentioned the camel case versus snake case. If, for example, we had to account for hair color or skin color, right here you would call decoder dot key decoding strategy. And then you want to say convert from snake case. This lets the decoder know, oh, what we're receiving is a snake case convert it to camel case because that's what we have in our structs. But we don't need that, for example, that's just in case you guys do for yours. So we're gonna say decoder decode, and this will actually give us a result. So let's say decoder decode, the type will be response self from data, and this throw, so you wanna call it try. And this will give us the response, which is an array of person. But we don't want that, right? They wanted us to print they want us to print the name of every of each of these objects and create another variable. We'll say this is a people and results dot results. So results dot results gives us the array of people. So now we have an array of people and let's, let's call this function actually and see if it works. Right? So I'm going to wrap this in a task and call try away here. We'll say print people and let's call try away fetch. Let's run this. There we go. You see here now we have an object of person and we have Luke Skywalker, C3PO, R2D2. Let me move this. So now we have that here and we don't even need this anymore. So now we have the full array of people. Let me move my myself. Okay. We have the full array of people and they but they wanted us to return or to print out an array of names. So we we have some changes we still need to make. And what are the changes? So it really depends how you want to approach this. You can create a for loop or you could use like a high order function like map. So let's do that. Let's say let people strings equal, let's say people dot map. And what is the map function doing? It's basically like a for loop compact into one line. And we do curly braces and then the dollar sign zero gives you the value for each of them. And what do we want to do for each value? We want to just grab the name. And we can specify here that this is an array of strings and we can actually make this function return an array of strings. Instead of printing here, we return people strings. And that means this people, or we'll say names. And now we can print names. And now let's run this and see if we have any errors. <laughs> oh, ah, I didn't even notice this. That's interesting. We didn't get an error last time. So this is actually important because you see here we have an error. And how you can handle this, you can, <laughs> The easy way to handle this, you just return an empty array. But the smart way to handle this is you create another case here in your network error. And this case is invalid URL. And then we say throw network error invalid, no, invalid URL. And now let's try to run this. Boom, and now we have an array of names and our interviewer is happy, hopefully, right? 
we answered the question, we got everything done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you want to see other videos like this, please let me know. Drop any questions or topics you would like me to cover. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect play. I'm a piece of the puzzle, I'm a fit where you need me, baby.